hospital clients come to us and say, we need additional services from you. And when we explored that a little bit, we realized that there was um, issues with the timely safe insertion of large bore catheters. So they actually approached us and said, we need these services. So we developed our large bore program, uh, which allows nurses to place um, what we would call acutely placed catheters, uh, which are sometimes more emergent, um, but certainly much larger diameter catheters than what typically vascular access nurses are used to. And uh, temporary dialysis um, is one of the main products that we're using now. And we can, uh, one, of the, one of the nice things we've seen for hospitals is the time of catheter order to time of getting to the dialysis table has been greatly reduced. You know, there's a lot of times on a Friday where Friday morning the nephrologist decided this patient needs dialysis and literally there's no way to get that catheter until Monday morning. Of course, we're a seven day a week company. We come in Friday afternoon, we can place that dialysis catheter and get them dialysis on Friday. When you need dialysis, you wanna get that sooner rather than later. So this uh, large bore program has been very exciting because we've done that in a very safe method. We had one facility that was having the people that were inserting the catheters were causing the need for transfusions after the placement of these large bore dialysis catheters. We've eliminated, eliminated that actually. None of our patients have had that. Because everything's ultrasound guided, uh, patients are sometimes on certain therapies of anticoagulation, and there are some traditional routes of placing these devices where they have to come off those therapies. They have to stop being anticoagulated. Um, because we use ultrasound guidance and because our clinicians that are doing these large bore programs have literally placed hundreds and hundreds of jugular lines, we are comfortable uh, placing these lines uh, with different parameters because we're not using the blind stick method of anat anatomically sticking. Um, we use ultrasound guidance, which is much safer because we're creating one hole, we're plugging the hole we, we create, and there's very little bleeding on the huge majority of our large bore lines. And that's been exciting too. And even the patient response has been fantastic because a lot of these renal patients that need uh, a short-term dialysis catheter have been through this many times before because they've been renal patients for 10, 15, 20 years. And we're even getting responses from them about uh, how much easier the procedure has been, uh, how much gentler it's been. So we're, we're proud of that. The large bore program, I think our average response time on the placement of temporary dialysis catheters has been less than four hours. Many times the day the catheter is ordered is the day they get dialysis. That prevents a lot of future expensive problems. Um, and it's also kind of unheard of. When the kidneys aren't working, Organ failure t tends to lead to other organ failure, which now you're gonna extend that length of stay. You're not taking as much advantage of your DRG reimbursement as you could be. Um, the idea is to get them dialyzed quickly, rapidly, so your, your end game is to get them back home, right? Get them on a regular dialysis schedule at home. A medical officer talked to me about uh, his hospital solution was he was pulling out a vascular surgeon from the OR suite to go to the bedside to place a temporary dialysis catheter. He's gotta have the catheter there. Is he using an ultrasound? Is he not using an ultrasound? People are assisting him that probably aren't experienced with assisting that procedure. And all those scrub nurse and OR techs and scrub techs are in that hospital suite waiting for him to come back. That's lost, basically lost revenue there. So for us, the ability to provide our client hospitals with this rapid, kind of response time on large bore catheters, not only has a huge patient benefit, but it has a huge benefit for the hospital's financial picture. Um, they're not spending the money on the supplies. They're not having to constantly retrain people. And they have a nursing-based program, which has a great track record of safety, um, versus calling out that specialist that could be doing other higher revenue procedures um, and probably is not thrilled about leaving his complicated case to go do a temporary dialysis catheter.